Modal Madness, Mastering Negative Questions in English. Hello, learners. Welcome to a new exciting lesson. Today, we are delving deep into the world of modal verbs and focusing on negative questions with modal verbs. By the end of this video, you'll know how to respond to negative questions with modal verbs. Let's get started. Before we dive into the topic, let's briefly review what modal verbs are. They are auxiliary verbs that express necessity, possibility, permission, or ability. Common examples are can, could, may, might, must, shall, should, will, and would. Negative questions with modal verbs might sound a little confusing at first. But they're simply questions that use a negative form of a modal verb. For example, shouldn't we leave now? Or, can't you open the window? These questions usually imply the speaker's opinion or expectation about the situation. This is where things get interesting. Responding to negative questions can be tricky due to the inversion in the sentence. You have to pay close attention to context, tone, and the actual words used to respond appropriately. When responding, you should agree with a negative question. If you agree with the sentiment expressed in the question, you'll use a positive response. For example, to the question, shouldn't we leave now? You can respond, yes, we should. Disagree with a negative question. If you disagree with the question, you'll use a negative response. Continuing with the same question, shouldn't we leave now? You might respond, no, we shouldn't. We still have time. Remember, your response should align with the sentiment of the question, not necessarily the exact wording. Now, let's try some exercises to strengthen our understanding. 1. Respond to the following negative questions. 2. Can't you see the bird? 3. Shouldn't they apologize? 4. Wouldn't it be better to start early? 5. Create your own negative questions with modal verbs and think of possible responses. Remember, practice makes perfect, so take your time with these exercises. Well done, learners! You've successfully navigated the complexities of responding to negative questions with modal verbs in English. With regular practice, it will become second nature to you. Don't hesitate to revisit this video for a refresher course. Remember, language learning is a journey, not a destination. Keep practicing, and stay curious. That's it for today. Thank you for learning with us. See you in our next video.